lessons. And I was like 10, 11 years old, somewhere there. And I was always very afraid to go out sailing because we could capsize. You could end up in the water. It seemed scary. The wind was blowing fast. So I'd always hoped that sailing class was canceled for the day so I could just stay at home and ride my bike and do other things. Um, so I had kind of a fear of sailing and even at one point my family got a small sailboat just for a little while uh, and there was this beauty about sailing that I recognized but at the same time I had this constant fear about it, trepidation and uh, so I never really overcame that fear growing up. Um, but today in my life I'm about to hit the water doing some windsurfing. And the wind is gusting up to 20 some miles an hour today out here and it's in perfect condition for windsurfing. So in my older age, now in my, my early 40s, I've uh, really leaned in to trying to overcome that, that fear of being out on the water and catching the wind in the sail. And uh, I've been sailing like this the past uh, few months. And uh, thanks be to God, it's been a great experience. I'm about to hit the water. But I want to compare sailing to the spiritual life. And I think that the sail is like the soul. And when we're talking about vocation, God's call for our lives, God's will for our lives, the question is, is our sail raised up on that mast ready to catch the wind of God? Uh, specifically, the wind of God, the Holy Spirit, to empower us to do His work in this world. If our sail's not up, like this right here, not going to catch any wind. So we have to pray for the grace of virtue, like courage, fortitude, perseverance, to get out there and to raise our sail and to let it catch the wind and take us to some beautiful and fun places. And I think that's how it is with God, that unless we open that sail wide to catch his winds, we're not going anywhere. We're just going to be beached on the shore like this and it's not as fun but God has given us all this gear to go out in these conditions and to, to glorify him through an activity like this sailing but it's like this in our daily spiritual life I think so the soul is like a sail and it's got to be open and receptive to the beautiful breath of God to take us where he wants us to go in mission to share this good news of his love, of his mercy, of his salvation with the world. And finally, I would uh, think of the prophet Jonah from the Old Testament. And here is a guy who God called to go to the city of Nineveh, which is kind of a scary place. People are doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And Jonah is like, mm, no thanks. So Jonah gets on a boat to go the opposite direction, away from Nineveh. And there's this great storm and Jonah ends up getting thrown overboard. And as the story goes, it's figurative, but he was swallowed by a whale. And then it's three days, three nights in the belly of the whale, which prefigures the death and resurrection of Jesus, because then Jonah gets spewed back on the shore. And then suddenly he's receptive to the will of God. And that vocation, that call to go be a prophet and call people out on what they were doing in Nineveh and bring them back to the one true living God to live according to his, his law, his commandments, which is entirely good for us. So that's what it's like in this life, being like Jonah. And hopefully we don't try to turn and run the other way and, and close our ears to the voice of God. But rather that we would listen, be always open, receptive, docile to the movement of his grace in our lives. So let's go have some fun out there.